do you want to be famous? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Sign me up. I don't even feel like I want to. I feel like I deserve to. You know what I'm saying? Three, two, one. More than any other occupation on earth, kids in America say they want to be famous influencers. A lot of us roll our eyes at the term influencer and the social media personalities themselves as we scroll through our feeds and maybe even allow them to actually influence us. Well, instead of just tearing them down, journalist Nick Bilton had a great idea for his new documentary, Find Ordinary People and Make Them Famous Online. The HBO documentary is called Fake Famous, and uh, Nick joins us this morning. Nick, thanks for hey, being Nick. with us. Thanks for having me. What a great concept. So you find, were these three people that were not on social media that you tried to make Instagram famous? How, how did it work? So we had this idea of, of, we were looking at the numbers of influencers online and there's literally millions and millions of them and the math didn't necessarily add up for us. And so we said, let's see if we can actually create a fake influencer. And so we held a casting call. We asked one question. Uh, do you want to be famous? And we had one prerequisite, which you couldn't have a large following on social media. And we had 5,000 responses almost instantly. Wow. And we narrowed it down to three people, uh, all of whom had about 1,000 followers each. And then I started buying them fake bots and fake likes and so on. Yeah, I don't think people realize that that goes on. I, for How much do fake followers cost? And can people tell the difference? Well, they cost, they range in price. It's like you, it's like buying anything, uh, you know, buying a bag or a car or whatever. You can spend money and get an incredible thing, or you can kind of go on the cheap and get something that's not so great. And bots on the internet, uh, which are essentially little algorithms that look like people, are, are the same. Uh, you can spend uh, $100 and get, you know, 10,000 pretty good ones. You could spend $10 and get 10,000 not very good ones. And you could spend $1,000 and get bots that are indistinguishable from a human being that like and comment and do all these different things on your social feed and make you appear more popular than you actually are. Yeah, the internet started out uh, authentic and increasingly became fake. And we're starting to learn how nefarious these algorithms are. And we're seeing the dangers of bad information so where does this how does your documentary play into the address that issue if at all well it, it's interesting because i think it's you know we looked at influencer culture to talk about the bots but it, it it affects everything you know there's a part in the film where i explain that you can literally buy anything online you can buy Amazon reviews and eBay bids and, and, you know, likes for your movies even, you know, all these different things that you can do that affect how Yelp reviews, so on and so forth, that affect how people perceive you. But at the same time, you know, celebrities are buying bots, journalists, politicians, you know, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton in 2016, there were studies that were done that showed they had half of their accounts were fake bots. And I think that the reality is, is that everything we see online we're now getting to a point where we're realizing that most of it is not real. And, and I think that uh, for parents, it's so important to teach their kids this. So the three people that you followed, uh, let's talk about how they fared. One of the girls, Dominique, is actually turned out to really be an influencer after this, right? Yeah, so they, they took three very different paths, and we, we had no idea how it was going to play out. We genuinely, I remember saying to HBO when we started the film, look, this could be a disaster and it may not work. It worked pretty well, actually. Uh, we had two of the guys who went different ways, and I, I won't give that away for people who watch the film, but Dominique, um, we ended up getting her to a quarter million followers with me just buying fake interactions and so on. And then after that, when we stopped, she kept rising, and now she's around 350,000 followers. She gets free stuff all the time. Brands have no idea because they don't check, uh, and it, it just really kind of it proved true to, to what we were trying to show. I, I wonder if there is a ceiling on the, the number of influers, influencers and a, a time span, a lifespan of an influencer. Um, what are your thoughts on, on that? You know, I think that we're going through a moment in time right now where uh, because we've been home during the pandemic and we've spent so much time on our devices, I think people have uh, they've, it's, they've gone very deep into their devices. And I think now that we're starting to finally see the, the end in sight, my belief is that we're going to come out of this and people are not going to want to be on their devices as much. They're not going to want to be following influencers and and, you know, constantly staring at their phone. They're going to want to be out in the real world. And I, and I hope that proves true. 
Uh, and I think that as a result of that, I think that this influencer culture, you know, look, you said it in the beginning of this, this segment, you know, it's everyone loves to hate on these influencers. And there's a reason for it because we know it's inauthentic. And I think that, you know, that coupled with what's going on in society will, will probably lead to uh, either the demise or the slowdown of this culture. Well, Larry and I both have teenage daughters, and I'm always amazed by, you know, everything is about second guessing everything you post but when you see how much work is going on staging a photo shoot for some of these fake influencers and then half of their followers are fake yeah it's 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 amazing the amount of work that goes into pretending you know that's the part for me when at the end of the film i say that was such an eye-opening moment for me is is that the entire point of influencing is to make you feel bad it's to yeah. say <laughs> look, look at how amazing my life is and yeah. how bad your life exactly. is. But the reality is their life is not great either. Mm -hmm. All right. That's I feel right. a little better. Go and maybe old people. <laughs> <laughs> and please, did you find out they're not as young as they appear to be too? <laughs> it's all it's all it's all a mirage every last Oh my god. Well, it's a fascinating experiment and you can watch the documentary on HBO and HBO Max is called Fake Famous and follow Nick on Twitter and Instagram because he's an influencer. Are you an influencer, Nick? No, please. Oh, okay. don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Nick. Nice to meet you. Thanks Nick. Thank you so much.